sponge. Enjoy. You're Hello me guys, Sponge here, here and I'm here like to there. bring you another that episode of Watch Dogs. Oh uh, let me start the mission. Quick. Right. And now I haven't been Nikki since there. the funeral. Am I ready? Yes, you are. Jack's last birthday. Lena sang off key. Happy birthday. Full throttle, no holds barred. Now, I'm afraid of the silence. Laurel is afraid of the silence. Well, wait, I'm, I'm wondering, can I shoot those? Blues? Nope. That's fucked up, G. Up that okay. Party. Here goes. How old are you today? Ten. No, I think you're nine. I'm ten. Nine. Ten. Nine. <laughs> ten. Well, in that case, uh, you deserve ten birthday tickles. What? One, two, three, four, <laughs> oh. five, six, oh. seven, eight, oh. nine, ten. <laughs> ten. <laughs> Ten. Stay here for a second. It's ten. No, nope. it's nine. So, an entire year and, and yeah, late. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nick. Really. Come here. Fuck me. Let's have a look at you. You look older. Oh, nice. Thanks for that. <laughs> it's his first birthday without Lena. Oh, how's he doing? Still doesn't talk to anybody but me. Yolanda says it's his way of maintaining some sort of control. Yolanda? His therapist. She's helping him. It's good. Wow, wow. Just slow. It's hard, but we're gonna get through it. Jax. Hey. S sorry I'm late. Can I, uh, can I get a hug? Wow. You are big. <laughs> so, hey, what, what do you got there? Wow, the healer. Cool. You bought him a real toy, huh? <laughs> Why don't you bring up your toys? I'm gonna speak with your uncle. Yeah, I'll be I'll be up there in a sec. This matters. You being here. I just need to make sure that things are different. Things are different. Nope. Things Jax are not different. Are the most important people Jax. in my life. I'm not gonna stop watching out for you. <laughs> Always the big brother, huh? <laughs> yep. Last time I was back here, it was Lena's birthday. Jackson adored her. We all did. You missed all the fun. The kids were playing vigilante, imitating that guy they keep talking about on TV. Let me guess. Jax was the vigilante. No, they were all the vigilantes, and I was the only villain, but I make a mean bad guy. <laughs> I gave him hell. I should have come earlier. I could have warned them. Don't mess with my sister. Remember when you and mom were both sick as dogs, but dad insisted his boy was gonna have his birthday cake? That thing was an abomination. All burnt and lopsided. That was dad in a nutshell. He did a oh lot of gosh, other things, but it was always a Listen to me, I'm it's rambling. It's a fucking rabbit. 
Oh my gosh. I want you. Come here. Come hack me. Oh really? No, 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 don't oh, let me interrupt you. You do not want to get me. Who is this? Do you think blogging caller ID will hide you? I don't know what's so entertaining, but the police won't find it very funny at all. I'm gonna give you some advice. Are you listening? Go outside, meet people, get a life, and stop calling me. Listen, the police can trace this call. Oh, nice, nice. You don't scare me. I know where you live. How are the locks on those doors? Who is this? Why are you calling? Do you feel safe, Nikki? It's a creep. Who was that? Does it matter? Just some stupid prank. It happens. Do you think this is strong enough? Look, did you know his voice? Oh, Jesus, Aiden, just leave it. It's fine. It's fine. He thinks he can get inside. How do you know what he thinks? You're checking the locks. Look, I can handle this on my own. We do not need your help. Nikki? I can find this guy. Hey, look, Aiden. God, you have not changed at all. We do not need your help. Please stop trying to fix our problems. Every time you try, you just make things worse. I better go. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Grown man making crank calls. Let's see how safe you feel when I trace your call. Yep. There you are. All right, never Damn mind. Damn it. He's on the move. Let me take him. This asshole to harass Nikki. Who would pay for something like that? Yeah. Who would pay? Did you get yeah. anywhere with DeadSec? Not Any of those CTOS hacks? Yeah, I'm yeah. still trying. I'm They're kicking you out. Give me time. Okay, well, I need your help then. Can you trace a phone call? How can I refuse my best client? Wait, what am I looking at here? It's from a guy who threatened my family. I want to know who hired him. Well, the call came from somewhere in the Loop District. But that's as far as I can see. Okay. 
I can hack CTOS inside the loop. Then I should be able to pinpoint the source of that call. Let's do that. Bloom's building a new CTOS center in the loop. It's perfect. DedSec tried to attack that center last month. We failed, and they just added more armed guards. So it won't be easy. Be careful. <coughs> you sound like my sister. Relax. Next. Make sure I'm armed and dangerous. Bloom hires private contractors to guard their CTOS centers. These guys will be geared up and wired for action. But I'll be ready. Violence erupted last night in Rossi, Fremont. The notorious neighborhood has suffered a wave of violence over the last few years as members of the Black Viceroys clash over gang leadership. Police officials see no end to the violence. If CTOS doubles their guards, I better double my weapons. Hey, how's it going? Come back if you change your mind. If you have any questions, Over the past few weeks, CTOS centers throughout Chicago have increased security due to several attacks from activist hacker group DedSec. When asked about security changes, Bloom spokeswoman Charlotte Gardner was decisive. Chicago's safety is paramount, so we've hired private security for every CTOS control center. These highly skilled peacekeepers have trained in the most dangerous regions of the world. In fact, Ms. Gardner, these peacekeepers you refer to are military mercenaries, many with criminal records. Isn't that true? Indeed, they've served time in the military, but we should hardly reject our brave soldiers for proudly serving their country, should we? Our CTOS network is well protected, and that gives Chicago citizens the comfort they deserve. That was Bloom spokeswoman Have Charlotte nice Gardner day. discussing CTOS security. This new security is no joke. I need access. Gotta find out who's targeting my family. I want that voice behind the phone call. Well, sounds like somebody making up a story to get a book deal to me. They had his face blurred out, distorted voice and all that. He claims there's a whole network of people like him taking jobs for money, hacking, threatening, even contract killing, all here in Chicago. Is he writing a book? Well, yeah. Money in the pocket for me. But, man, you know how my game is, man. I can talk to anybody. 
I'm investigating. <laughs> what up, weirdo? Hey. Okay, that's weird. Hey, girl, what's up? What do you want? Hey, yeah. girl, where are you going? Oh, you trying to play me, huh? That's strange. <laughs> it's your first day. Mute it, or I'm gonna break it. Jesus Christ, not a moment's peace. Start looking. Let me get some better weapons. Could be helpful. What was that? That's inside someone's home. Looks like CTOS is compiling every intimate detail. That's it. I'm hacked in. What? Yeah, you mean you're in the CTOS already? I'm looking at the network as we speak. You've got your access, and I've got mine. <laughs> Profiler systems online. Everybody's nasty little secrets at the click of a button. This thing's highlighting all kinds of stuff in the district. I could take advantage of some of this. Keep an eye out for online traffic. Could be fixers in the network. 
If I can see them, they can see me. All right, I gotta move. I'm in a lot of noise here. Give me time to track your caller. I'll be in touch. A private citizen. What is it? I lined up a lucrative deal with a very demanding client. He needs a driver. No. But here's the thing. I come in this morning, find Maurice trying to dig his way out of the guest room. So I need to move him. Now I could pass this problem on to you since Maurice is really your problem. But that's not my style. I always finish what I start and all I'm asking of you. All right. Fine. I'll handle it. Well, no. Don't let me push you out. I said I'd handle it. That's the job. Exactly. It's a delivery job. Gotta move some guy. I mean, how hard is that? Just keep in mind my reputation's on the line here. He's paying top dollar for this driver in Chicago. Then he's in luck. Well, we're gonna move some people around. Alright. That's not that hard. <laughs> What the hell, a fixer? I made too much noise in the loop. This guy's found me. Well, now I better find him. Jordy's job will have to Jesus. wait. Trace his signal back. I'll find him before he breaches my phone. <gasps> there you are. You're mine now. <laughs> Got him. That's one fixer down. Yep. Now, how many more are out there? Got him. Bye bye. Well, someone's taken an interest in me. Fixers are mercenaries, they work for a paycheck. Someone's issued a contract on me. That's bad fucking news. If I remember right, Come on. these guys communicate through the grid. We have roads for this guy. What? How the hell? How my grid connections down? I'd love to take on one of these guys. I'll have to wait. Yeah. Uh, All right. Now I can deal with Jordy's job. Some kind of driving contract. A guy somewhere. This won't be a typical taxi service. The trick with these jobs is avoiding the cops. <laughs> Taxi driver. Yeah. Where the fuck you been? It's gone to shit. Oh, fuck, man, it's all gone to shit. I'm on my way. Hurry, man, the cops are gonna find me. Hurry.
Chicago police managed to interrupt a nighttime invasion on a manufacturing plant. One assailant died at the scene, while one remains at large. Expect delays within Parker Square as police have set up roadblocks. Hope you have an invitation or you're dead. I'm the driver. Oh, fuck, man. What took you so long? You got a car? This thing's shot to hell. I'm the driver, dude. No. Nope. My rule's your car. That's the job. All right, well, come on, man. Let's go. Jesus. This car, though. What the shit? Eddie's dead. I left him back there. Oh man, the cops came out of nowhere. This is bad. Just follow the route and keep an eye out. The cops are still searching. Your route's gonna get us killed. Sit back and keep quiet. Just stick to the plan. I know what I'm doing. That how your buddy wound up dead? Keep your damn. It's a patrol car. I see it. Them back there. Oh man, the cops came out of nowhere. This is bad. Just follow the route and keep an eye out. The cops are still searching. Your route's gonna get us killed. Sit back and keep quiet. Just stick to the plan. I know what I'm doing. Damn, it's a patrol car. I see it. said you were good. You did it! Okay, we're here. We did it. There's some guys making this. Don't fuck it up now. My friends, what the fuck driving? That's Lucky Quinn. Why is the club boss meeting us? He's not meeting us. He's meeting you. Meeting you. Someone knew. I swear, I don't know what happened. There wasn't supposed to be anybody. I, I mean, it's a computer plant, right? I turn around, the alarm's going off. The cops got there so fast. <laughs> I didn't... Quiet now. It's all over, son. 
I got it, Elise, right? That's what matters. It is indeed what matters most. Here's how the I world call turns. Him Grandpa. Not much room for uh, bad up. eye. Oh, oh, I get that, Mr. Quinn. I do. Grandma, bad eye. It wasn't my fuck up, though. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, calm now. It's all right. Calm. Get a chance to talk to your mama. Call mama. your friend. Your girl. No, sir. I was in a hurry. That's good. Very good. <laughs> Mr. Quimper. Oh! Uh, uh, uh. No. Tell your employer I'll call again. If ever I need a, another delivery. All right, he's dead. Lucky fucking Quinn. He runs the Chicago South Club. These assholes have been preying on Chicago since before I was born. I could have done the city a huge favor if I put one between his eyes. But this is exactly what I've been trying to stay away from. It always comes back hard. That can't happen again. Hey, how'd it go? You finished that job yet? You thought I'd be okay working for the fucking club? A paycheck is a paycheck. You gotta start separating the morals from the moolah. Relax. Listen, I can hook you up with my guy. He'll find you better driving gigs if you want. Yeah, sure. I don't know if I'll take them. Give him my name. Who says no to extra cash, right? Oh, and since you asked, Maurice is doing just fine in his new home. All right. What? Why? The car is now totally healed up or something. Alright, but uh... Jesus! I've got something for you. We need to meet. Meet? What, face to face? Should I look for a guy in a mask? No mask. Just follow my signal. I thought you never wanted to meet. I don't. But we need to meet. Alright guys, I think this is it for today's episode, if you enjoyed it, please make sure to smack that like button, and uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel, but uh, thanks for watching guys, uh, see you later, see ya.